Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now, if you've been interested in laser engraving, we're talking about creating some really cool stuff like this, but you're intimidated by the technology and you wish it was simple. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a laser engraver from Saint Smart, the Jinsoku 11C40, that if you can use a phone, you can engrave and cut a variety of materials. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, you heard that right. We're talking about a laser engraver that can use your cell phone Android or iOS to laser engrave. And it takes the intimidation factor from all the way up here to all the way down here because it's literally your phone. So if you can put an Instagram post, if you can tweet, if you can go onto Facebook, then you can laser engrave. It's that simple. Now, this laser engraver is incredibly well built. It's one of the best built laser engravers that we had on the channel. We're talking about a 5.5 watt laser. Keep in mind, that is not super powerful, but it's also very effective based on my testing and the materials I was able to engrave. It has a fixed focus and it does have passive air assist. Now the passive air assist or the air assist for those of you who may be new to laser engraving is basically, uh, it helps with charring. It helps with moving smoke away from the item so that you can get cleaner uh, cuts or engravings. And while it doesn't have an active blower blowing, the way it's designed and the way the airflow is in the, in the actual laser head, it pushes the smoke away, reducing any kind of charring or burning effect that may happen on wood or even on the material that you're working on. You have an ample workspace and you saw the slate that I had and I'm gonna bring it back on camera. Uh, this is how big, let me put it to you this way. This is how big it is. So 400 by 400 millimeters. You have a lot of space to work with. This laser is also solid aluminum. It is very well constructed and it looks gorgeous. It's a really good looking laser. It has hidden limit switches and the limit switches are really important because as the head is moving from you know left to right or top to bottom, it knows where to end. It basically has a switch that basically tells it to stop so it's not crashing into the frame and you're not hearing the stuttering noise that I've seen with other lasers. Because you can use your phone, it's also Bluetooth enabled. Now, we did talk about the fact that you can use your phone to engrave. And that's gonna make this uh, a solution for a lot of people who have never really engraved or you wanna get into laser engraving. But for those of you who are avid engravers and know how to use some advanced software like Lightburn, and I'd say Lightburn is also really easy to use. It just opens up a lot of other options. You can use Lightburn as well or laser, also a GRBL. So you have a lot of flexibility. You can go from quick and easy phone print or, la or cut, or laser engrave, to light burn or any other of these solutions that we're talking about right now. A lot, a lot of flexibility. Uh, let's take a look at the machine in action. We'll also take a look at uh, some of the engravings that I've done so you can see why you'd wanna consider this laser engraver. Now laser engraving on this laser was incredibly easy and the quality is really good. So check it this out. So this is a slate tile and we basically engraved, this is gonna be uh, something that we're gonna be standing up in our kitchen and you'll notice how large this surface area is but we had more than enough room for something this big. And we basically using the standard settings, I didn't really do anything special with this. It was basically 100% laser and it was 90 speed. It was basically going through and it just etched this and these were actually two uh, PNG files or two graphic files that I had that I put on top of each other so that we can you know create this um, coffee lover slate. We enjoy coffee in our home and we just wanted something that would say hey take life one cup at a time this coffee is making me awesome. So I hope it makes you awesome too. So this is what we engraved and again this took us you know a little bit under an hour to engrave as it was going through and doing this. Now the other thing that we did is we did some bamboo. So this is a bamboo uh, cutting board and this doesn't have any special material, any special treatment and there is actually a wood setting, you know, on an area that in the actual phone app, this was all done with the phone by the way, uh, we set this up and what you'll notice here and this is what I would say is the challenge and why I prefer to use a program like Lightburn is uh, even though there was a little dot that tells you where things are, I have a really difficult time aligning things as you can see here. So uh, Nolda would see this and she goes, not aligned. And I was excited to show her just like the overall quality, but she's like, it wasn't aligned. So she was looking at this. There's space over here is a little bit greater than the space over here. So you'll need to watch your alignment and make sure you get things down. Uh, it takes a little practice, right? And in order to get that. But what you can see here, if we put this in an angle like this, this is a really, really nice engrave, and it's and it went deep enough, uh, looks good, 
And this would be something that we would treat it with some type of mineral oil, um, or this could be a showpiece, right? So you don't have to use it for cutting. You could use this just to prop it up and actually show what the experience looks like around you know, this engraving. Uh, we also engraved a, a card. So we, um, actually, as we, you see the actual engraving uh, demo, you'll see us engraving an actual um, aluminum card that has coating on it. And it did a really nice job of etching that really, really fast. So a lot of flexibility here. You can do bamboo, you can do cork, you can do slate, and you can also do stainless steel. So we did test with some stainless steel uh, dog tags and it did a good job as well there um, in that test as well. So uh, let's take a closer look now at the engraver. We'll see it in action and we'll get a closer look at all of the features. Now this laser is one of the best constructed lasers that we reviewed on the channel and it absolutely takes the cake when it comes to having the best in cable management. Uh, literally, the best in cable management. I'm going to show you some shots of that in a couple seconds. Uh, the cable management, as you can see here at the very back, is really nicely tucked away and I've never had a situation with this specific laser where the actual cable impedes any kind of the laser engraving or cutting that you're doing. And that's really important to me. In addition to that, it does have limit switches. And what it means by having limit switches is that as the laser moves forward and down, it knows where the limit is and it will stop. So there's a little switch that actuates it and it's really not something that's uh, highly visible. And that prevents the actual laser from crush, uh, crushing or crashing to the sides um, of the frame in all areas. And you can see, this is a really good looking laser. Uh, nice um, aluminum material all the way around. Now this is a 5.5 watt laser and it's a fixed focus laser. Uh, to focus this for you to be able to engrave something like you see right here, all you do is you take out of this corner here, this is a little uh, focus tool, place it right at the very bottom uh, of the actual laser. You're going to loosen this side right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you're going to place it so that it rests right on top of it, just like you see right here. Then you're going to basically tighten this up. Once you tighten it up, you'll go ahead and remove it. You'll put it away. And then literally, this is all you're gonna do. You're gonna just put it away nicely, tucked right here. Now the laser is ready to engrave. And you're gonna get a beautiful piece of, um, I would say in this case, this is slate that looks just like this if you run this laser. Now one cool thing I like about the lasers on the side here, you do see um, kind of like this little ruler here that's letting you know what your height is. Now, I, I rarely would use this, but it's nice to have that there so it kind of gives you a sense of what the height of the laser is when it's engraving. Uh, really, this little guy that you have here is really going to create an error-free and a very predictable way to engrave when it comes to the height of the laser. The laser also does have passive air assist. And what air assist does is that it blows the actual, um, I would say, not so much debris, but if there's any smoke, any fumes, away from the material as you're working on it. Uh, there are some units that have a active air assist, which actually there's like a little pump that actually pumps air in, pushing things away. Now what that does is two things. First of all, as you're engraving, you don't have to worry about um, any kind of smell coming your way or smoke because it's pushing it back based on its design. And then what it also does is it reduces charring. So especially when you're dealing with wood, you really don't get kind of the burn marks. Now, this one doesn't have active, uh, has passive, but it does a really nice job of reducing charring or any kind of burning on the material as it's engraving. Now on the back of the laser, you're gonna see how nicely the cable management is done here. So you have some clips there, clip it into place, and then you have this which is going to stretch as it needs, and it doesn't get in the way. And you notice how it has some little nice cable management here as well. Um, on the back, you'll notice that you do have a power button. You also have a USB uh, A, another USB cord, and then what you have over here is a power adapter. Now, this could be for additional accessories. I'm told that they'll have like a rotating um, device that's gonna allow you to burn, let's say, cups or mugs, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so this is gonna give you some expandability um, as well as give you some other features, I'm sure, in the future. Power button, and then the power would go in here, your adapter. Now, I wanna show you the undercarriage here because this is where all the cables um, and belts are hidden. Really like how things are tucked away, and you can see that right here. Here you actually see uh, one of the limit switches, how they're hidden. Uh, what this does is it really makes it simple to maintain, and nothing's gonna get in the way. So love the way the design works out. Full metal design, but then everything is tucked away where you don't see it. This is obviously the bottom of the laser. Now using a laser engraver can be incredibly intimidating, especially if you're using a foreign software package that you've never used before. And I have to say that this laser engraver is the easiest laser engraver in the market based on my experience. Because check this out. If you can use a phone, if you literally can use a phone, you can engrave. 
what we're doing right now is I'm connected to the laser engraver using my phone via Bluetooth. I've put in some text, and what I'm gonna show you is how exactly how I align it, right? How I set the focus, and then how I will engrave simply using my phone. It's that simple. Now, for those of you who are really interested in, let's say, some more advanced applications for laser engraving, like Lightburn, you don't have to worry because the actual laser also supports Lightburn if you want to use that and create some more advanced, I would say, images or have more flexibility with engraving. But if you can, literally, if you can use Instagram, if you can use Facebook and you can post, you're going to be able to engrave with this guy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to see if the laser uh, is basically aligned how we want it. You're going to see that there's a little white dot there indicating where I am at, and I'm going to press this button right here, which is going to be framing. And you notice how it's going around and it's framing, and it's basically saying, hey, this is the area that we're going to engrave, right? So I have a little metal card there. Now, what I'm going to do next is now that I have that aligned, I am going to set the focus for that, right? I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna put this little piece, I'm gonna loosen it up here on the side, let it come down until it touches this piece like we did previously, set this up, and I'm gonna remove this metal piece, or the actual focus tool. Put it back in its location, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test to see again if I have my alignment still in place. And you'll notice what I'm looking for is where's that, where's that alignment? So I'm gonna go ahead and move this a little bit over, I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. I'm gonna do it manually. I could actually move it on the screen too. All right, we'll move it a little bit more. That looks good for me. Now the alternative is that I could actually hear, and let's see if we can get this in focus so you can see it. Can you see how I have um, right there some text? I have EVP man there. Let me move it on the screen, and then when I move it, it will move here on the laser too. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the laser up. So I'm gonna hit next step. And basically I'm gonna say that I am working with stainless steel, because all you do is you indicate the material that you're working with, and the number of passes and the engraving power, and I'm gonna start the engraver. Right, so now it basically is pushing the job, and the engraving is taking place. It's that simple to laser engrave. And I should get EVP Man Tech Reviews. Now let's see what it looks like. Okay, check this out. Put this in an angle here. And again, this is a metal card. And you can see how it engraved. EBP Man Tech Reviews. Pretty sweet. Very nice. It's that simple to engrave. So guys, that wraps up our review of the LC40. See you in the next video.